They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and for many, French cosmetic brands are the fairest of them all. The stores on the iconic Champs Elysees in Paris attract visitors from around the world. The Chinese market has become increasingly important. According to French officials, China accounts for roughly 35% of the revenue of many French cosmetic companies. We've seen that since years that brand, French brands, cosmetic groups are doing a lot of effort to be more um, uh, locally targeted um, uh, to, to satisfy local consumers. China is the world's second biggest cosmetics market behind the US. It's predicted to generate roughly $60 billion next year, and analysts expect growth to continue. According to the 2023 Business of Fashion and McKinsey State of Fashion report, the Chinese beauty industry is expected to be worth around $96 billion by 2027. That's an attractive prospect for many French brands. Sephora now has more than 200 stores in China, as it seeks to turn heads in that market. While China and France may not see eye to eye on everything, the two nations say they're committed to levelling the playing field in the cosmetic sector. Next year, a French embassy for the cosmetics industry will be established in China. Our companies that are located around Shanghai or somewhere else in China will be together in a network to promote, of course, made in France in China, but also to develop more collaboration with our Chinese partners. Imports of beauty products from France to China fell by more than 6% in the first half of this year, compared to the same period in 2022. Domestic brands are gaining market share in China, and some experts say there's nothing wrong with established French brands facing a little healthy competition.